Hey, what's going on heroes? Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Nathan Olson. And in today's video, we're gonna be covering basic filming techniques to help improve your Instagram reels, TikTok videos, and so much more. Coming up. Tip number one is gonna be camera shot. That refers to the area that the viewer is able to see in each frame or shot. We're allowed to manipulate this in order to change what the viewer can see into our video realm. That's why for a lot of transitions, you'll see that people blind the camera shot in order to blind the viewer for a split second while they change the scene. And also, if you wanna create a sense of importance, you can utilize a personal shot. That's a close up shot of a character's face and this creates importance, emphasis, and or seriousness about whatever the character is saying. Have you ever noticed in a film that when a character is giving a surprisingly important speech that there's often a zoom in effect onto the character's face? This zoom in to a personal shot is to draw the viewer in to what the character is saying and to place emphasis on that message. The next time you're trying to deliver a message, utilize a personal shot or even a zoom in effect in order to draw the viewer in to what you're saying. Tip number two is going to be camera angle. This has to refer to the perspective that the viewer has when looking at each shot or each frame. Manipulating the perspective and the angle can create variety and creativity within your video content. For instance, when you have a downward looking camera angle on a character, they feel small, vulnerable, and powerless. On the other hand, if you have a camera angle looking up at a character, they feel larger than life, strong, empowered. And that's because specific camera angles create a subliminal messaging and subliminal emotion for specific viewers. Utilizing particular camera angles can make the viewer feel a certain type of way for a character, and you can incentivize a specific action or reaction out of your viewers by utilizing particular angles. Want an inside scoop on a pro tip? When it comes to observing a conversation like a lot of TikTok videos and Instagram Reel videos portray, there's a thing called the 180 degree rule. And it's a rule in filming that has to deal with the left to right relationship of characters within a conversational scene. So as we talked about, when you're watching a scene unfold, you look left as one speaker talks and right as the other speaker talks in order to direct your attention to each specific character. You'll notice this break and rule happen a lot in TikTok and Instagram Reel videos because this is where people are creating conversations by themselves. You'll find that one particular person, the account creator, is typically holding the phone in their left hand for one side of the conversation and for the other character, they'll simply turn their body and go to the other side. But what they don't know is that they're actually breaking this 180 degree rule. And because of that, they're creating what is known as a reverse angle. And as we just talked about, the reverse angle is not something that you wanna utilize in your video content because it creates an odd perspective for the viewer. That's just a pro tip, make sure to use it and you'll start to notice it more when you're watching TikTok videos and Instagram Reel videos. Have you ever wanted to create a specific emotion or tone in a film before introducing or having any characters speak? Well, lighting allows you to do that. And that's where tip number three comes into play. Lighting is a crucial element of any successful film and or video content. If you want to create emphasis on a particular character, lighting can help you do that. For example, when a character stands directly under a light, it creates almost a center stage feel as if they're standing on a stage and presenting to a wide audience. It creates emphasis, importance. In addition, if you want to create a specific mood or even emotional response around a specific character, placing soft light behind a character can create a specific mood. For example, if you want to create a calming, passive, and cool nature for a character, then you would want to put a soft blue light behind them as they speak or even utilize blue light in a lot of their scenes. Now, although this seems a little mundane, the soft blue light will create a, an emotional response in the viewer. They'll start to attribute passive cool reactions for the character. And in the same response, if you want to create a sense of lust, anger, or frustration, having a character in a room full of red lights or even red glow behind them is going to create this sense of anger and frustration or even love. And utilizing these lights can help you manipulate the emotional response of the viewer. And when we say lighting is important, that's because it is. It allows you to create an emotional response and or tone in your video content that normally wouldn't be there. Tip number four, mise-en-scene, translates directly from French as put in the scene. And the mise-en-scene has to do with the setting of your scene and or your frame shot. The setting has so much to do with what the viewer is going to pull away from your overall messaging. As the viewer, we are visually stimulated. We are learning so much about the characters just from the environment that they're in. 
And you'll notice in a lot of films that when they're introducing a particular character, or even highlighting specific characteristics, that they'll often do a scan over of key objects in the environment in order to place importance or to give the viewer a little bit of information and background knowledge of who the character is. But this isn't the only way to use mise-en-scene. You can use mise-en-scene to create a tone and or atmosphere that helps the viewer understand what exactly is going on. For example, when watching a sneaker review video, if you see an individual reviewing a sneaker in front of a giant collection of, let's say, expensive and or really collectible sneakers, then that person's gonna have a level of wealth, knowledge, and or expertise in the industry that you're watching. And you simply pulled that from the environment that you see them in. If we were to watch the same sneaker reviewer give the same exact video, same exact word for word, but we change the scene to a blank white wall, and as a viewer, we think that they are less invested in the sneaker community than potentially the other person is because the value of sneakers behind them obviously shows that they have a great deal of care uh, for their sneaker community and the niche that they're in. So the mise-en-scene can create loyalty, trust, and even a sense of knowledge that might not necessarily be there. It just has to do with what the viewer is understanding from the environment that they're given. Last but not least is gonna be sound. Now this is something that's so easy to manipulate and allows you to be so creative. When it comes to filming, there are two types of sounds, diegetic and non-diegetic. Diegetic sounds are real life sounds. These are things that you would hear in your everyday life. Anything from a door closing to footsteps to maybe a pencil dropping. Now, non-diegetic sounds are things added to the film in the editing process. For example, sound effects and or music. Now, music being one of the biggest non-diegetic sounds can create a very powerful emotional response behind a particular message. Have you ever watched a motivational video? The background music is so powerful in creating an uplifting sense of energy, courage, and power within the viewer. That simple type of manipulation of music and the imagery that you're given in the video creates such a powerful message that you feel invigorated when you're done watching it. That's just how powerful music and video content can go together. All right guys, these are five basic tips that are going to vastly improve your overall performance in creating powerful Instagram Reels and TikTok videos. If you have any questions or you have any helpful tips yourself that you'd love to share, drop them in the comment section down below. I love listening and talking to you guys. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please give me a shout out at nathan at yourcharisma.com. And if you're looking to grow on Instagram and or any other social media for your small business or your personal brand, make sure to head over to Your Charisma where we'll have exactly the right solution just for you. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I'm glad you tuned in and stay tuned to the next one.